Everybody, welcome. Hope you've all had a wonderful Friday. So this is a super special session and I'm very, very excited to introduce to you guys a absolutely phenomenal pianist. If you've not been able to tell already, you're going to love this session. So this is Dr. Kenan Renfro. He goes by Ken. Mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to call him Dr. Renfro. Please, but. please So don't. he judged me at a piano competition in high school. Stop it. I know you, you say you don't remember that, <laughs> no, and I'm, I'm sure. sure oh my goodness! Did but I say nice things though? That's, I hope you did. I, I think hope I you probably did. did. I, I don't know. I don't I remember so. what I played. So, <laughs> but we're gonna just play a lot of requests. You guys, feel free. This is just like a normal session. You're just gonna get to hear two pianos instead of one. So, that's where it's gonna come from. And glad to have you here. Glad to be here. Thanks for the invitation. Been looking forward to it for a long time. Absolutely. Likewise. So this will be fun. So Josh is behind the camera as usual and he'll tell me what you guys want to hear. So. All right. Well, the first request that I saw, and I don't know if both of you know it or not, but it was What a Lovely Name. Do you know that song? I don't think I do. Is it in um, this book? It is. I think it's in the Songs and Hymns of the Heart. Do you want a sight read? Sure. Okay. I think it's in B flat in this one. Let's and see. once we get going, I might know it anyway. Hey, you might. It's an old um, hey, it's not in this Happy one. Goodman song. So let's see, what a lovely, I feel like it's in this book. We're about to find out. Yes, it is, 42. It's way up front. It is. Well, this is nice. I'm usually the one having to sight read, so. <laughs> okay, it's in C in this book, so well, I'll kind of get it started just so you can hear the feel, and then. And how many sharps and flats is C? Is that, Zero. Is that, okay, good. Zero. Good. You get an easy job on this one. Okay, we'll see how this goes.
day for you to sight read that song. That That's was fun. fantastic. Okay, great. So yeah, some of those gospel songs that people request are probably going to be in that book. So. All right. Woo, y'all are starting us off with a bang. Okay. There you go. Okay. Let's pull it back a little bit. Sounds good. 411, 411. Right beside where we opened. Let's do I Will Praise Yeah, him. absolutely. What do you guys want to hear? Okay. Ooh, there's a workout Man, right there. I'm telling you. Okay. I think it's in this book. I bet it is. Let's see. That's one of those that I don't know quite well enough. Yes, it is. 515. I don't know quite well enough to try to attempt it without a book. So I've never heard this sung in church, as far as I know, but I've had to play it on several live sessions. So. I may have heard it too many times. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Growing up, maybe so. But there's a lot of drama in this piece. Tons. We got to we got to paint the picture. All the dynamics. We got to tell the story, paint the picture, do all the things that we do. And Absolutely. when we get down here in this course with these fermatas, we got to we got to milk them for I'll all their worth, and then some too. Sounds good. How fast do you want to go? One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we five, go.
That's an oldie but goodie right there. That was fun. That was fun. And I think that was the first time I've ever actually read the lyrics of the second verse. Because normally when I play this, I've always thought of it just from the miracle mm -hmm. in the Gospels. Mm -hmm. But the second verse is so deeply personal. Oh, that definitely. Is beautiful. Which is the beauty of some of the old gospel oh, songs. Oh, yeah. yes. They're relatable. The, absolutely. So. You know, I, I'm a teacher, so forgive me. I've been talking to my students a lot lately. I'm sure we have a lot of piano players out here mm -hmm. who are viewers. I'm convinced more than ever that composers choose a meter for a reason. Mm -hmm. If you look a lot of, at a lot of the songs that we sing all the time, and then you look at the meter, you'll be surprised because it's not what you think. Yeah. Um, my favorite example is... If you think of the meter, you would think it's 4-4. Four, four. But if you look at the, at the time signature, in most hymnals it's in 2-2. Two, two. So why would he do that? Well, he wants us to feel it one and two and yeah. instead of one, two, three, yeah. four. Same thing with Master of the Tempest. In six, eight, we want a big two, and it felt so yeah. natural in this piece to, yeah. to play it in a yum, bum, bum, dee, da, da, da. So it's fun to watch that as you play through the hymn book and see why they chose, I mean, why do they choose three, two sometimes yeah. instead of three, four or whatever. So and it has that rolling feel, which it, Yeah, you it has to do the with, the, with like the mood that we're trying nautical. to create, so yeah. it's... It's really cool. That is. A lot of nautical imagery in the old gospel mm -hmm. songs because that was their life. I mean, it's how they traveled and yeah. all the things that we don't do a whole lot anymore. I love it. Anyway, love it. you want to move along here? Uh, you want to ask sure. for a, a request? Or? Okay. All right. I have several ready to go whenever y'all want them. All right. Yeah, fire away. How about all the way my Savior leads me? Okay. We you like want to do that. a couple requests at a time? Sure. We'll do two. All the way my Savior leads me. And what's another one? We'll do two. He lives. He lives. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. So all the way, we're going to do it uh, 6 two, 3 okay. in this book. And we can do it in F. I'm, I'm sure it's in F. In and then book. we can... Um, he lives this... in B flat. Oh, it's in G in this book. Okay, we'll yeah. do G and then go into, and B, into flat B flat where he lives. Okay. Sounds good. Two verses of this one? It's fine. Okay.
hard to do when every church does it slightly it differently. Do. We grew up pretty much changing that last part, you ask me how I know, into 4-4. Four, four. Mm -hmm. So it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, one, oh, okay. Totally different. But mm -hmm. then I married a song leader, and he leads it in He's a slow He's got his own ideas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I thought, oh my, how is this one going to go? But that's more fun than ought to be allowed right there. It is. I told my dad, though, we actually played that one last night during a little informal sound check. And I told Dad, I said, we better steer clear of any songs with fermatas or big retards at the end because you don't know what the other person is going to do. And then there we do, he lives pretty early. And there the you session, go. So. And, and, we, and we did just fine. <laughs> that is I'm, fun. I'm not bleeding, are you? No, no. Okay, it was good. fun. That was great. That was great. It was so, a lot of fun. Okay. What else you got, Josh? All right. Do y'all want to do the sweet by and by? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. There's a land. Sorry, I don't know if y'all can even hear me. You in can. the sweet by and by, and then um, if I could sing a thousand melodies. Ooh, that's an old you know one. That one. I know it, but it's way really? back. I've never heard of it. If I, well, I may let you do then that well, as a solo. Well, I, I won't do it as a solo because I haven't played it in forty years. If I could sing Did a thousand melodies, let's see. Okay, while he's looking it up in that book, we're playing primarily out of psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, because that's one I had multiple it's copies of. It's not here either. It's not in here? Okay, let's see if it's in this one. If I... Nope, not in that one. So if they know what hymnal it's in and can give us a page number, if I have it on the shelf, we'll grab it and go with it. So. You want to do in the suite in yes. G? G, yeah. All right, then uh, as a second... Yeah. Um, how about Arise, My Soul, Arise? Oh, yes. A flat? It's fine. Okay, sounds good. Oh, wow. Two couldn't be more different songs. Absolutely All right, we'll go. more different.
there on purpose, and then I did that in four four instead of three four. So that's okay. Oh well, so beautiful. Change it around. And Rise, my soul. Let's do it. This is a big one. Two, three, four. smooth arpeggios going over there girl. oh i love it i felt it on that one so that is i've talked about this before so y'all already know that's one of my favorite themes in scripture is that jesus christ is our mediator but then the holy spirit is pleading for us before the father and that amazes me that he will go to the father in my stead not even worthy to approach his throne and yet right. i get that's to good. just talk to him Praise as openly right here in the living room in the kitchen wherever i want to because jesus tore down that middle wall of partition so arise my soul arise is one of my favorite hymns and it's not in our hymnal at church and it just really? kills me so sometimes oh, yeah, i play it for the prelude one. just because mm -hmm. i get to sit over there and get a blessing myself but that's one of my favorites so thanks for requesting that one so all right you want um just let me know if y'all want to butt in with anything but okay. otherwise i'll just keep feeding your requests sounds okay? good Sounds good. All right. Um, by the way, if I could sing a thousand melodies, is number f page number four in the Majesty hymnal. Oh, okay. I have a Majesty. I think. There's one right here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, play through it. We'll see. If it's in their new hymnal, the Rejoice, I. And this is the one I know growing up. Okay. You just do it and I'll just listen. I'll I don't know about that. Yeah, um, this is Elmo Mercer. Okay, yeah. He wrote some other ones that we know. You'll probably recognize it. line if I could sing a thousand melodies I'd sing and never cease how great my God wow but that's a good old one there that is beautiful oh. uh, copyright in 64 okay when I was a, a wee child by Singspiration music wow. I was about to say it sounds like a Singspiration song mm -hmm. probably mm -hmm. in the favorites books too. you want to do uh, I Come Broken yes let's do that okay. and you were just with the guy who wrote, who wrote it this, last right? weekend right having a big time at a at a Baptist music festival. That's awesome. Here we go.
Boy. I have to dedicate Bye. that one to my, my bride of 39 years. Congratulations. I think that's her favorite song. Really? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I think at the moment that's her favorite song. So she'll tell me if it's not, I'm sure. Does her favorite she, change, though? No, not in a long it's, time. It's She's liked that one for a while. Wow. So that was nice. Oh, that was nice. Enjoyed it very much. Okay. Yeah, give us a few requests. Right. Great job. Thank you. I'm enjoying my job tonight. <laughs> So do you enjoy it just as much when it's just me? Or of do we need he to does. have he Ken it. over here it's, a lot more it's often? It's more when it's just you. <laughs> right, 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 yeah. Something like that. <clears throat> um, let's see. I have Rejoice in the Lord and Keep on the Firing Line. Okay. Yeah. Do you know both of those? I know the first one. I better glance at the second okay. one. I don't think it's in this book. I have a book it's in if you're wanting to sight read again. Well, let's see so, here. Let's see. You're pulling something out of my childhood. Keep on the firing line. So I know it's in, I have a church in the right here. It's not here. Oh. All right. It's going to be in this one. It's a fun, fast one in B flat that nobody does the melody quite right. Well, you look for it, I'll give you a coming up. There you go. All right. Rejoice in the Lord, E flat. So. Yes, Rejoice in the Lord, E flat. Mm -hmm. Ron Hamilton, probably his best known song. Yeah. Beautiful far. song, great song. So you knew him, I'm sure. Yes, very well. So. Yeah, we miss him, definitely. I okay. traveled with him and did other things. So it's always a joy. He was a happy guy. Mm. I like happy guys. But yeah, and absolutely. Girls. So, uh, all right. Let's see. look at the shape when I'm reading a shape note hymnal. I'm just looking at, at the, notes. the note head. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it, was more so, as, it was more of a singing thing yes, back in the day singers. than it was a playing thing. Yeah. Do, re, mi. So, do you sing right. a lot when you play? Yes, I do at church. And like when our family sings, I'm always right. singing. Because I do too. And I didn't, growing up, I played from the time I was seven and I honestly didn't know the words to anything because really? I played all the time. But late, later in life, I've been doing a lot of worship leading and things mm. from the keyboard, and so you have to sing. And I've really, it's been great for me because I've improved my, oh, yeah. my lyric knowledge immensely in the last five or eight years. And so it's been a joy. And I'm sure it but changes the way you play, too. Because when I look plays, at the text, it oh, totally changes. drastically changes how I play. My book is still open all the way my Savior leads me from you know, 30 minutes ago. But that was one, my choir teacher, who you probably know, Ina Pegram. I she do. I knew. I had us memorize 
hymns, one every month. She mm -hmm. was my piano teacher mm -hmm. for 13 years. Oh, wow. So she had us memorize these. And as I was playing this, I was reminded that that's one of those that she had us memorize. And that was a, a big deal to her was not just memorize scripture, but hide the lyrics of hymns in your Absolutely. heart, too. And when my kids were young, we had a program at church called the Hymn and M Club. Oh, <laughs> And if that's they cute. could recite the lyrics to the hymn, they'd get a bag of M&Ms. So it was a great it. incentive for kids oh, to, to get sugared up. You know? Yes, for real. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so this is a fun one. It's kind of fast. It's a, it's like a barn burner. I'll try to hang on. 1933, right, we'll no, yeah. 35 it says, I think. So this is Old Church of God in... exercise. It is. I'm telling you, <laughs> you know, the red pack is such a, that's what it's called. Oh yeah, so I'm very familiar but, um, with red Yeah, back. so it's, um, it's a workout. For that's sure. a good one. So, good. That's fun. Whew. Yes, sir. Okay, how about shall we gather at the river? We shall. Absolutely. <laughs> what key um, you like? F. Sure. Is it an F? No, it's not an F. It would definitely not be an F. Probably an E flat. We can do E flat. So. Mm, D E flat. D E flat. How about this one in kind of that vein in G? Okay.
much fun. Right oh, there. that is great stuff. Great stuff. Okay. We got Josh. Give us a couple in a row. We'll try to do. All right, one. let's do Majesty. Okay. And then Dwelling in Beulah Land. Okay, move both in B flat. Sure. So, okay. Wow, these are big. Y'all are not holding back tonight. So, all right. Two. <laughs> did you expect? No, no, I did not. I did not. So they love to make me sight read those songs I've never seen before. Don't know the feel because, like, the feel of the song. It can be the whole thing. It is, and some of that is cultural. Like, Did you have this problem when I was in like high school? My friends would sit in the back and thumb trying to find a song oh, nobody knows. During favorites night? Yeah, during favorites <laughs> night <laughs> yeah. to call out for me. And so I kind of made a rule. I'm like, you got to sing it. Uh, get up here and sing it if, <laughs> yes. if I don't know it. You know? Absolutely. But anyway, don't pick but, a random page yeah, number seriously. that you don't know either. They used to so. love uh, There's a Green Hill Far Away oh. and uh, from Greenland's Icy Mountains. And songs like that that yeah. nobody ever sings, no. but it was kind of fun anyway. The, the Baptist hymnal to me has a lot of those kind of songs with like weird titles that no one knows and no one sings, but somehow they made it into this hymnal. So yeah, that's favorite nights are always a tiny bit scary, but I look at them now as an adventure more than Absolutely. scary. So we'll Absolutely. see. But these we know. So dwelling in, well, we'll do majesty, then dwelling in beautiful land. So two, three, four.
the springs of living water. We were just talking about, before the session started, about a mutual admiration for John Peterson and Dr. Al Smith and the Singspiration series. I don't know what you call it, but it was phenomenal music produced by that organization. Mm -hmm. So, and this is a great one. So. You like G? G. Let's do G. That's a good uh, quartet number. Right that there, is. Too. That is. Very fun. From back in the day. Okay, tell us where we can find your music and your books. You can find everything at pianomusicnow.com. Okay. And my YouTube channel is Piano Music Now. And uh, pianomusicnow.com is a repository for all of my print things okay. and all that you can find it and a lot of downloadable stuff as well. And what do so. you, you arrange? Piano music, but you I do. do a lot more than that. I right? do. I arrange and record and produce and do all kinds of, a lot of teaching, obviously, that's a thing. Write textbooks for theory and functional skills. We have a passion to make sure that our students are well-rounded, mm -hmm. and that's not just by eating too much pizza, yeah. but also <laughs> by, by studying uh, things that we miss out sometimes as pianists. We have piano lessons our whole life, but we never touch on harmonization and improvisation and stuff you yeah. do so well. And uh, we may even study a lot of technique, but we don't know how to apply it then. Yeah. I mean, I've had many high-end classical pianists when I taught at University of Miami, and even here, they can't play Happy Birthday. Yeah. And to yeah. me, that's sad, because just being well-rounded and being able to function at the piano is what we're talking about. Uh, I think, I know, the piano is the best audio-visual aid for, for music, for mm -hmm. music theory. Mm -hmm. Because I can play a chord, I can see it, I can hear it, I can feel it. And it just is a great way to use that as a tool to teach that, that more in-depth functional skills and music theory at the keyboard. Yeah. So there's a lot of that kind of stuff on there. And, um, you know, I have great plans for when I'm retired, but still not for a while. And so, <laughs> so, albums? You have piano albums. I do. I have uh, two Christmas albums that, um, th that I, I guess I'll say I'm proud of. Yeah, I recorded absolutely. one. It's piano, orchestra, half sacred, half secular. And one is a 42-piece live orchestra with piano, and the other one is a 53-piece live orchestra. Wow. Recorded at Gaither Studios. Oh, cool. Okay. Oddly enough. And Bill came up to me in the parking lot, and we chatted a little bit when we were setting up for the session. And he said, I hope you find joy here. And I said, what office does she work in? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a delightful That's time. Special. It was a great, great time playing with great musicians and doing oh, yeah. that. So those are out there. So, uh, sacred solo piano things, okay. some things that go with print books. And my goal is to get a lot of my YouTube stuff notated and out there. Mm -hmm. Thanks to you, you put me in touch with those great transcribing they people. Are. They and are. so it's just That's a my sheet music transcriptions. Who they've done both of my albums, the sacred piano album and the Christmas album, because I'm fine writing out my own congregational accompaniments, but when it's something that advanced, 
that's a finale level that's... And it's also time consuming. It is very time consuming. It's very time after consuming. After I spent three and a half hours and got 16 measures done oh, on one song listening to myself in headphones. And then you probably didn't like what you had. Oh my. <laughs> I, I, sent, I, I sent it all to them. I may have been in tears when I sent the email and was like, I need this. Help. So yeah, they're, that's they're great. great I'd like to get a lot more. I get a lot of requests. Yeah. Um, you know, you probably do too. Absolutely. And I'd like to get a lot of more of that done. But I do have a, quite a few things out there from my days. I've mm -hmm. published a lot with Alfred Publishing. Okay. And so a lot of it's there. But it's all, it's fun. And, and let me say this. Uh, I believe that the piano is amazing. Mm -hmm. it's, this one's big, black, and shiny. And I tell my students it, it makes a phenomenal impression, in, especially when you show it out of a second story window. <laughs> yes. Right? But it's just a vehicle. It's a tool yeah. that God gives us yes. to work with people. And if I turn out the best pianist in the world and I don't get the person, mm -hmm. then I may as well go back and teach conservatory and just do piano. Yeah. Because that's not what it's about. It ought to be as great as it can be. But in the process of that, we need to realize it's a tool God gives us to work yeah. with people. And that's the end game is people. Yeah. I can't take my stack of stuff with me, right? Nope. Just souls. And so that's that's how I roll yeah. and ask any of my students and they'll tell you that. No, I believe it. That's and that's been our goal for this session is absolutely. That you and for be all your encouraged. sessions. Encouraged. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's just to leave with your heart encouraged by the truth that is in these words. So there's doctrine and there is encouragement and edification in all of these songs. So all right, Piano Music Now. That's his YouTube channel and his website. So, and we'll have Thank that you. linked in the description as well. So, all right, Josh, you want to give us a few more? Okay. So we are. Excuse me. Fifty-five minutes in. Okay. So I don't know if we talked about how long you want to go. Yeah. I think our babysitter, who is Pops tonight, <laughs> he has Asher and Raylan by himself. He was pushing for 30 minutes. So, yeah, he, he's probably going to be knocking on the door at 8 o'clock. <laughs> okay. So do you all have any that you wanted to get to in particular? That How about have? There's a Fountain? Out? Yes. We're going to do There is a Fountain. C? B flat. B flat. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. More requests uh, or no? Yeah, yeah. We can do a couple more. All right. Let's do um, My Anchor Holds. Boy, they're into it. Tonight, I'm telling they? you. <laughs> and then we'll slow it down a little bit and do This Is My Father's World. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that that's sounds good. good one. You want to close with that one? This Is My Father's That'll World? That'll be fine. Okay. So you like uh, B flat for Anchor? Yes, absolutely. Okay. okay. E flat for This Is My Father's World? That'd be fine. We might do E flat then F. Yeah, end that'd on be a fine. High note. Whatever you like, it's okay, fine. Sounds good. All right, two, three. <laughs> 